In this video, we're going to be doing a tutorial of Celeramp, which is a software I've recently started using that's super, super helpful for online arbitrage, specifically reverse sourcing and looking inside other people's stores to find profitable products. So let's get right into it. We're going to start out looking at a TreeHut product. The reason why we're going to look at a TreeHut branded product is because we know that Amazon themselves isn't selling it as well as there's over three third-party sellers. If Amazon's not on it, then the people selling it are third-party sellers. And if there's over three third-party sellers, three FBA sellers, specifically, we can make a good assumption that it's not private label, which means that people are either wholesaling it or buying it from retail stores. If they can find it profitably, so can we. And in another live source video I did, we actually found some TreeHut products. I'm picking a different one to look at for this example, because I know it's resellable to the people on these listings. We're going to be resellers. So let's take a look. So seller amp immediately here on the right, you see there's no buy box for in terms of the buy box not showing because seller amp pops up and makes it really easy that we don't have to scroll down to keep and get a ton of data in a really organized fashion. Seller amp's also only like 20 bucks. So it's pretty much a no brainer. Monthly immediately coming here, we can see um, the BSR, uh, it's a 27K rank, which is top 1% for the category. We can see the estimated sales per month. So there's 840 sales per month. So let's say you can find these at, uh, right, like $3 profit a piece, right? So like eight eight thirty four, like it says. So $3 profit a piece and you get 40 sales a month. And then you find 10 of these products. That's over $1,000 in profit a month, right? Um, and that you, you can find lots more, pro lots of more items like this through the methods we're showing reverse sourcing, <coughs> targetable arbitrage, these different things, and really scale out an arbitrage business to where it's making $10,000 a month profit, $20,000 a month profit. Like my business is now as much as 50,000 a month profit in December and really makes some money doing Amazon arbitrage. So I'm going to show you how, um, the reverse sourcing in this video. And then right here, so the max cost you would want to pay. So like, let's say updating this profit calculator, let's say you pay $7 for this item, and it's a 62% ROI. It's serious, serious stuff in there. And then, uh, yep, sale price. And the buy box is even higher, so we can update the price in there. It's 24 right now, as we can see there. So that'd be even higher. So you could pay like 10 bucks for this item. Yeah, 50% ROI. Down here, we can see the ranks and prices. We can also see them over time, which is cool. Pretty steady here. We can see the BSR, which is the sales rank, buy box, whether Amazon's on it, they're not. Um, lowest FBA seller, lowest FBM seller, their prices, keep a BSR drops last 30 days. Um, estimated sales like we saw above and estimated time to sale last checked. Eligibility, so we can sell this product. That's helpful to see that. And basically, seller apps a combination of a lot of basically several different um, extensions you would have to get separately and it puts them really nicely here. So it's pretty much a no brainer. We can see the hazmat dangerous goods, Amazon share buy box, never private label unlikely. Like I said earlier, because there's a whole bunch of sellers on it, IP analysis. That's good. There's no IP issues. That's helpful to have that aggregated here as well. Standard size. That's great. Multiple. No, pretty self-explanatory there. And like the dangerous goods and hazmat and stuff, that's not relevant for beauty products for the most part, but for some listings, it's definitely helpful to have that. And just another reason why this tool is very, very helpful. And here we can see the keep it charts. We can see the performance over time. So we can see back in December on the chart, we can pull the year chart here as well. We can see the sales rank was really low. Um, and there's that. So it's a 20K rank right now, a little high for the winter, I guess, beauty products. Looks like it was down further um, last spring and stuff like that. And then up here, we can see the profit calculator. So we can see the cost, sale price, all that profit ROI minimums. Yep, if any discounts were relevant as well. And sell seller amps, it's also not just a Chrome extension. There's, there's an app as well. Um, and discounts if that was relevant. And now getting into the reverse sourcing part of thing, which is where there's tons of value with Celeramp. We can see here the cumulative stock cost and all that. Um, and so we can see the price, their profit and ROI, as well as the seller count and all here. So the cumulative sales is a pretty cool. If, if this was a relevant, if this was a listing you were actually on, you can see the cumulative uh, sales that would need to happen just based on the lowest price for you to get sales here. So say you were this guy, 22 sales need to happen um, for him to go ahead and get a sale. Obviously that's not um, we can infer that just based on the way the way the buy box is showing that they're getting sales, but just based on the lowest. We can see here, and this is helpful too, because a lot of your competition is going to be repricing on stuff. So it's helpful that if you are repricing, 
we can see that and we can see here i've tried to film this video a couple times and uh my computer died which is why i'm getting a new computer um but yeah and so we'll take a look at one of their stores we're going to choose this guy because he has eight in stock um so we just click here to open it Coming here within the seller store on SellerAmp, we can immediately see it's much more organized than just the way you traditionally be going about storefront stalking and sourcing for items. We can see their review count as well as their ASIN count. And right here in the middle, we have their brands they're carrying. So we can see some of the different brands they have, the product count for those brands, as well as get a vibe of the different type of catalog they're uh, carrying, looking at the top categories. And this quickly helps you identify when you're storefront stalking, if uh, the store you're looking through matches ty the typical niche of products you're selling. This one we're looking at here is very standard and variety um, filled. So we are going to look through nicely uh, right here in a way that you don't get traditionally um, when looking through other storefronts. You can see the Keepa charts automatically as well as you can see BSR, um, max cost you'd want to pay based on their numbers. Um, whether Amazon's on it and the amount of FBA and FBM offers, which is very helpful. And we can also see looking at the Kiba, whether Amazon's on it, um, looking there as well, which is very, very helpful to be able to identify that quickly, like right off the bat, as I'm coming through and live sourcing this, not going to look at this, not going to look at this. Um, Amazon on that a little bit and the buy call or the buy box is too low. Not going to look through that. Um, right here, $11 buy cost. We'll give, we'll give this a go. See what we can do. And literally we just have to do boom. And then it's here in Google. And then, um, so we see here, so this is, if this is the right product, this might actually be, might actually be a, a buy here. Let's see on REI. UCI, so $2.95. All right, so I don't think that's it. Although if that was, which it, oh, it actually might be. Um, but either way, I'm not going to look at it specifically, but that, I mean, that would be a buy in that case. Like we'll plug that in on uh, and see what we can do. $2.95. Yep, so you pull this right up here. We will get the profit calculator. Let's scroll down to get to this. I think it was up there as well. And $2.95, there'd be some other shipping and costs associated with that and that as well. But I mean, that, that ROI is not bad, especially on a 6K rank. There's a lot of volume on this. We can see here looking at the monthly sales, you got 2,100. I mean, you get 50 of those at three bucks profit. That's 150, 10 of those items, you're at a thousand bucks profit. And that was literally the first product we've really looked up um, within the store here. This one, I'm not going to look up because the buy box is too low as well no buy box $20 uh this is definitely um something we will look up so let's see what we can do here we're gonna want to pay it's 20 bucks we're gonna pay like between six and eight here and walmart so eight bucks on walmart or seven dollars seventy so let's pull this up 778 so 778 and we were selling it yes yeah, sale price so we want that at uh, the 19, although it looks like their pricing's off on that. Yeah, so I'm um, looking at the price here. Yeah, so the buy box is uh, lower. Where, yeah, this wouldn't be a buy because we can see here on the Kiva, the price is lower there. So that is not a buy right there. Let's keep it moving. Look, there are a couple more of these um, here. So Tree Hut, BSR, 1%. Yeah, that's the original product we were looking through. Let's pull this up on, on the amp, see what we can do. All right, so we want to pay eight dollars thirty-four or lower here, seven seventy-eight on Walmart. That's not bad. That is gonna be a a buy, my friends. Yes, this was the original product we started on. Yeah, forty-five percent can keep this rolling. And obviously, like some of these items, I'm not even gonna look through because the buy box is too low. Obviously, if people are selling it, they're making money on it. But for my personal business model, what I'm looking to do, I'm gonna stay away from that. I'm also staying away from ones that Amazon is on, like we can see here, as well as looking at the Keepa. And let's look up one more of these products, see, see what we can do. Not gonna look up another tree hot one. 39, um, wide mouth jars, uh, buy box 39, sales rank BSR 1%. All right, let's see what we can do. 58 bucks, that seems really high for that, but um, we're gonna look that up and see what we can do here. All right, where's that Google? Yep, okay, so yeah, so, so okay, so sale price 37. Yeah. 
Okay, Amazon Kohl's. All right, um, shopping. What's this picture again? This might be a bundle. It seems really expensive for that. Lids. Lids. Yeah, 12 pack. All right. I don't want to dig too deep in that. But yeah, so that is Seller Amp. You guys can see this is super powerful reverse sourcing. We've only been at it for a few minutes. Only looked at one storefront too, but imagine this compounded. One, the time saved, and two, just the power of the tool implemented extra across you know tens of hours of sourcing across weeks, months. It saves you a lot of time as well as it just makes the workflow a lot easier. So it's much easier to do it. And you know, every extra ASIN could be an extra 50, 100 bucks. I mean, I've made thousands off single ASIN before that I found through these types of methods. So we can see here, there's a lot of power in the tool of Seller App, and there's a link down below. It's not an affiliate link, um, just a tool that I've recently started using and that's super cheap and it's pretty much just a no brainer. And I highly recommend you check it out. So make sure you guys subscribe below and I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.